Hi guys, welcome to a new video of Ways of Free Crypto. We broke uh, an important trend line yesterday and I'm going to talk more about that. So, first of all, if you haven't joined our YouTube channel, then please do so. I'm trying to keep you guys updated. And if you guys want to join our BitGet, then you can just click the link in the description. So, um, just to give you guys an idea, yesterday we tested this trend line, we had a clear ABC pattern as you can see here so I posted that and I told I did a small long uh, with a tight stop loss right below it because it was likely we were going to break a little bit later I saw an inflow on the network from 7000 Bitcoin right at the moment that the markets got closed so whenever the market is going to close on Friday, you know that the whales are there to play. A little bit later, what happened? The trend line got broken, which I kind of announced because someone just put that 7,000 Bitcoin from a, a ledger device, from a cold wallet onto an exchange, and that's just to sell. If I put Bitcoin from uh, USB sticks, onto exchanges that that's only for one reason and that's to sell so this 7000 bitcoin would give enough pressure to break this trend line which which happened a little later so i'm i'm also i'm always telling things that i see so this is the daily if you draw a trend line now this is not picture perfect but you get the idea then you, you, you can see that yesterday we felt below it. Also, this is the 12 hour. Let's zoom into the 4 hour. At the 4 hour, you can see a buy signal. So, what I'm expecting next is to be honest that what I'm seeing is if you break a trend line, then it's likely it's going to be retested. It happens most of the times. Also, here, this is resistance. Uh, a retest, another retest, a retest, a retest, a retest. You see what I mean? So, and that's probably going to happen as support as well. We also did it here. You see, so support, and then here we bounced literally right off that line, but we fell through with that inflow of 7,000 Bitcoin. Right now on the network. On the exchanges, I mean, sorry, there are 22,842 Bitcoin ready to be sold. So you know that the gun is loaded. And if they fire the trigger, if they pull the trigger, then we can go a lot lower. So here, uh, CryptoQuant, uh, link is in the description. It's very handy to follow the, net the network. Then let's see how we are with the leverage. Here we can see that the open interest for longs is a lot higher than the shorts. So if they are really willing to reset um, the leverage, they need to push the price further down. And I'm not, I'm not saying that, that I, I mean, of course I don't like this, but you can always short the market. Uh, this is also the liquidity map. Uh, also, this link is in uh, the Discord at uh, the handy tools section, so you can go there. Um, what I see is here, the whales have much more liquidity to be grabbed by pushing the price further down. So what I'm expecting are basically two things. First of all, I'm thinking that, uh, let's zoom into the one hour. I'm thinking that we will get eventually a retest of this trend line. It needs to happen. And we had two huge volume candles to the downside. And most of the time, a drop happens in waves like one, two, and then at least a pump to the upside just to shake out some shorts. Uh, it can be that everybody just start to short and the price go further down. I mean, the whales are not going to give the, that money for free. They will push up at one point. 
So I really think that this trend line should be retested at least once. So that's basically it for this video. Um, if you haven't collected your bonuses at Bybit or BitGet, you can do so and trade with free money. Uh, don't forget to join our Discord. It's fun and it's free. I mean, I, I don't want to pay money uh, to ask money for the information that I learned since 2016. Um, please like and subscribe to this video and have a good day. Bye-bye.